Before we get started, it's important to note that this feature is only available on the iPhone 15 Pro models or later. The first thing we need to do is to make sure Gemmoji has been enabled. To do this, you want to go to the settings application, and then you want to scroll down to find general and click into that. And then you want to scroll down to find keyboard and click into that. Now we need to scroll down near the bottom underneath the Gemmoji options, and you want to make sure stickers has been toggled on. Now the Gemmoji has been enabled, we can go ahead and start using it. So to use Gemmoji, you want to go to any application where you can use your keyboard. For this example, I'm going to use messages. Now you want to go to the text field, and then you want to access your emojis by clicking on the face icon in the bottom left hand corner. And now you shall see the Gemmoji icon next to the describe emoji text box. So we're going to click on that. And if it's your first time, you see this pop up. So once you've read through this, you want to click on continue. And now we can go ahead and start using Gemmoji. So you simply want to describe the emoji you want to use and it will generate it for you. From my experience of using this, it's best to keep descriptions quite simple. So for this example, I'm going to ask it for a cake with eyes and legs. Now it's going to automatically start to begin to generate the emojis. And this may take a few seconds depending on your device. As you can see, Apple Intelligence has generated four emojis. So you simply want to choose the one you like best. If you go to the very end, it's also going to continue to generate more if you don't like the previous options. I think I'm quite happy with this one, so I'm going to select it. And as you can see, it has now been added to the text field and it's going to behave just like a normal emoji. Well, I can go ahead and send it just like you normally would. When you select emojis, they'll also appear in your emoji keyboard. So as you can see, the one I've just generated has appeared here. So I can go ahead and send it again, just as I normally would. When you are on the emoji selector, you can select the three dots next to the emoji you want to use. And it's going to bring up this menu where you can copy, share, or save the emoji as a sticker instead. 